Okay, welcome to the how to install the Robolinux legacy BIOS ISO or the regular ISO which is UEFI only. Okay, so your USB stick is plugged into your PC while the PC is off. Press the power button and wait for your keyboard to light up and you're going to hit the boot menu which is in my case F8 and here we go we hit F8 keep hitting it every couple of seconds and what you will see is a boot menu okay now this is this is very important <clears throat> now presently I have burned the regular uh, ISO which is UEFI only so I would have to select the boot menu device um, as the UEFI USB stick and that's going to be the default at the top or the second one I don't know why they show two of them but had I had I had uh, burned a uh, legacy BIOS ISO I wanted to go down we want to go down to the non UEFI which is would just um, list the Corsair, in my case, Corsair Voyager Mini, which is a USB stick. So, but in this case now, I'm going to go ahead because I know I've burned a regular Robo Linux uh, ISO, and that's going to be a UEFI only. So I'm going to press Enter. Now, the first thing you're going to get is this menu. It says Robo Linux Live Plus Installer. Press Enter. Okay, and. While it's uh, loading, I might just mention that, um, you know, this kind of thing, um, you know, picking UEFI or legacy boot is not common in most Linux distros, but I have a very good reason why um, I built two separate ISOs. To begin with, UEFI slows down your boot by a factor of up to about a minute or so because it's just... I'm sorry to be so honest, but it's pretty, it's, it's rubbish. Um, UEFI is, is not a good um, piece of code. And, um, and uh, so it's, you're better to actually, if you, ha if you have legacy BIOS access to boot uh, on your machine, you really should do it. However, unfortunately, after 2020, all the computers, um, that have been built in laptops are UEFI only with no legacy boot option to boot. So, so there we go. That's we're booting now and um, I'm going to speed this thing up by editing it. Um, so I can show you how it's loaded into the live screen. Okay. So it is booted. The regular ISO, which is UEFI only, has booted into the live version. Okay, now this is important. Um, it is strongly advised to go to the main menu, which with that whatever uh, version of uh, Robo Linux you have, Cinnamon, Mate, or XFCE, and just go up to Gparted. And <clears throat> now, if you have other operating systems on your on your hard drive then um, you're going to have to resize and, and create some unallocated space. Um, and you can use Gparted to do that. In my case, I just want to wipe it clean. So I'm going to actually just go in and select all the partitions and hit delete. And um, this ensures that no older or, you know, there's like partitions that will just for some reason don't get erased when you're installing using the using the installer. So, okay, so there we go. Now, notice to finish this operation, you have to apply it. And, um, and so I'm cleaning the drive. And now the drive is ready uh, because there's nothing on it. It's un unallocated. And if you had other operating systems, you would need to have some unallocated uh, space in order to install this Robo Linux uh, operating system, which is the UEFI only. And of course, what you do is just click here and, um, and it will install your UEFI only Robo Linux uh, ISO to your hard drive. To use the legacy BIOS only ISO for any of the cinnamon uh, mate 
or XFCE Robo Linux versions. So machine's off. I've got the USB stick plugged in and it's it's a legacy BIOS ISO. I'm turning the power on the computer. Now I've got to go to my boot menu uh, BIOS key, which is F8. And when the keyboard lights up, I start pressing that boot menu option screen and it will come up. Now, it defaults to the hard drive that's already in there. You can see below the hard drive the UEFI USB. Now that we don't want because what we want is to do the legacy which is the one that doesn't have UEFI. Now, <clears throat> you noted that in the previous video with the UEFI USB um, it went to a black installer screen. This one's going to go to a blue one. And that's how you know that you actually have selected uh, the correct uh, legacy BIOS option from your BIOS boot menu. And now it's going to go ahead and load everything and go to the live screen. And um, you will not get a uh, grub boot error because you use the legacy BIOS uh, USB option to boot off of the legacy BIOS ISO. Okay. So we booted our legacy ISO or legacy BIOS ISO. This particular one is the Mate. It could be the Cinnamon or the XFCE legacy BIOS ISO. Um, it's now you selected the correct boot option, which was the non-UEFI, which is legacy boot. So you're not going to get a grub error. Now, um, vice versa, if you were to burn a UEFI ISO, which is just the basic, uh, uh, it doesn't say UEFI because there's only two different ISOs. There's one that says legacy BIOS, which is the legacy BIOS. And there's one that says um, nothing, which is just like, you know, Robolinux 64 cinnamon, or XFCE or Mate uh, VR12.0 and current is 08. All right, now if you had selected that and then you booted off of the legacy USB, you're going to get a grub error, okay, after the installation. All right, so it's really important to pick the correct one um, and they just go hand in hand. Um, and you just have to be sure to select uh, the proper uh, BIOS uh, boot menu option for your USB stick that you burned. Um, so there you have it.